When you're building a new PC, what do you use as your guiding principle for the build? Do you just kind of grab parts that have similar looking boxes? Or do you find like one part that you like, like uh, say for example, this GTX 1080 Ti right here, and then build everything else around that? No. Most people start with some kind of a use case or an application like, I wanna build a workstation PC or a video editing one, or I mean, this is probably the most common one for our viewers. What kind of computer do I need to play poorly optimized but super trendy new game du jour on high settings? That's why NZXT reached out to us to sponsor a showcase of their new Let's Build configuration tool, which we used to order this puppy right here. So let's see how well that worked out for us. Okay, so the best way to describe how I built this computer is going to be to actually just show you. So I'm gonna go to letsbuild.com and begin by hitting the big start button. Boop. Now we're looking at 21 popular PC games across loads of different genres, including FPS, open world, real-time strategy, and of course, Battle Royale. So the idea here is that you pick either the exact game or games or type of games you wanna play, you select your monitor's resolution, your approximate budget, we entered $1,500, and then you choose AMD or Intel. So check this out. We've got a Ryzen-based PC built around our price point and Right here, an estimation of the number of FPS that this system should reliably get in our selected games. And NZXT is actually guaranteeing these approximations to within 10% of what you're actually gonna see once you're up and running. Of course though, we wanted to test that. So we hooked our machine up, which with the one page instructions and corresponding stickers on the IO plate, means literally anyone can do, and downloaded Fortnite which, like lots of people, was the one and only game that we cared to optimize our $1,500 gaming machine for. According to the site, we're supposed to get around 98 FPS playing at 1080p with the game's highest settings. Epic. And, right out of the gate, quite frankly, it looks like NZXT has pretty much broken their promise because we're seeing as high as a 130, 140, 150 frames per second. That's looking not bad. I don't know, what's my squad doing? Haha, <laughs> they're all talking. Oh, good luck, you guys. Like, what kind of towns are these? Where like literally every building is full of like guns and stuff. My partner is apparently still alive somehow. Oh, there's more guys. I think there's going to be, oh, they're shooting at me. Oh, I'm gonna die. Boop -a -doop -boop. Okay, I did 50 damage and then I died. Time to go off the edge. Ah, goodbye, cool world. So my team placed 11th, that's pretty cool. After a few rounds, by the way, we did end up with an average of 106 FPS once we accounted for all the dips and loading screens and whatever else. So that is within 10%. And if this was the end of the video, that would still be pretty cool and this would be a neat tool, but it actually gives you way more control than just the three broad buildouts. You can step up or down through more granular price points and see how the FPS is affected in real time. Or if you wanna tweak your components yourself, like changing your case or getting more RAM, then you can do that too. So then you have all the information you need. You can just close the NZXT tab and head over to newegg.com and order all the parts, right? Well, they don't actually want you doing that, and there are a couple of good reasons not to, starting with pricing. So looking at the complete price breakdown, they give you something that you won't necessarily get if you buy a regular pre-built machine from Best Buy, for example. So you can see that you're getting all of the individual parts at MSRP, which is not a guarantee across the board, especially for GPUs like the GTX 1070 that's here in our build. And second, Okay, yes, there's a $99 additional cost in there, but that's not just like some weird made up fee. They actually give you a unified warranty on all of the parts and labor for two years, and they haul butt to ship your order out within 48 hours. Best of all, they actually build it 
for you, with, by the way, some pretty darn nice cable management, even in the parts you don't see. So then, if you're looking for that DIY control, but you don't actually want to, or don't know how to build it yourself, NZXT's Let's Build tool is one of the easiest ways to order a computer out there. So thanks to NZXT for sponsoring this video. Keep on building cool tools for PC gamers. See what I did there? That's bold humor. And I like my men like I like my font. Bold? Wait, what are we talking about? So thanks for watching guys. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one and our community forum, which you should totally join.